Hey guys, it's Kristen here. It is June 9th, 2015, and it is um, uh, day 49 of my weight loss journey. And if you're new, I hope you push the like and subscribe and stay around for a little while. Um, today was just kind of uh, um, a little stressful. Um, I actually got up early, being the first day of summer vacation. You think I'd sleep in? No, of course not. Um, got up and did some things around the house, and then got off guard, caught off guard with some bills that we totally kind of forgot about. And then we're like, <gasps> panic. Um, thank you, Jesus. He totally came in and saved us. Uh, two bills. They were like, do what you can do when you can do it. No worries. And then my husband got a very important phone call that we have been waiting for. And I will discuss that hopefully tomorrow night in tomorrow night's video. Um, we're waiting for a final phone call about some logistics and such. So stay tuned for that. It's very good news. We're very happy. But other than that, it was an okay day. Um, I, I did some sit-ups. I did push-ups. I did leg lifts. I did squats. Yeah, that's what I did. And tomorrow, hopefully I'll get a walk in. I know tomorrow morning is going to be, like the rest of this week is like phew, crazy because tomorrow I have to run and get my relay shirt from a friend to go to another friend's house and fix her lock. And I have to go to the bank and walk at some point tomorrow. Thursday, I have, what's Thursday? I don't know. I have something going on Thursday. I don't remember what it is, though. I think I have an online training for doTERRA. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, Friday, um, I have relay from 4 o'clock until 10, and then I was dropping my husband to pick him up. Uh, and then Saturday, I'm going to do a doTERRA booth with um, my upline and then family pictures. And then Sunday, we're going to my son's dad's ordination. He is being ordained as a minister. So it's a little crazy this week, um, but still good. All good things. Um, I wanted to say something real quick before I, oh, no, I don't. I want to back up. Fitbit didn't do much of anything today. Um, like seriously, really didn't. Um, just because we were just, there's other things to be done and um, it just didn't happen. So my steps today are probably pitiful. It's sinking. Give it a minute. It does this to me. It's like, oh, it's still saying it's 2.17 p.m., so it has to catch up that it's 9.56. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I did drink, uh, like, 100 ounces of water today, so that's good, right? Drinking water is good. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so it's um, being ridiculous. It's telling me that I can't find my tracker. It can. It just doesn't want to. So anyway, we'll just go on. Um, I want to say something, like I said before. Um, my, my One of my favorite YouTubers here that I've been watching for five years now, her name is uh, Ingrid, and her uh, call name or whatever you want to call it on here is Miss Glamorazzi. And I love her. She has done some really great videos and she's just so smart and funny and intelligent. I just always upbeat and positive. Well, today she came out and um, shocked me. I know that because I was not expecting that. Like at first when I read it, it was like gay. Like I thought she was going to be like, <laughs> just kidding. I'm gay. Happy. You know, I thought it was like one of those rhetorical, funny, jokey things. And I started watching the video and she was so emotional and so real. And it just... It brought me to tears because I know that had to be hard for her, you know, hard for anybody. In this day and age, you would think that, you know, it's the new norm. Um, and in some place it is very normal to be gay. It's, you know, oop, there's a gay person, there's a gay person. And it's not the stereotypical life anymore like that. And it's, it's new and it's different. And, you know, I have gay friends and... For the longest time, I neglected them, and because I was like, they're sinners, they're sinners. Blah, blah, blah. I was so wrapped up in the religious aspect of things. But the thing is, is their sin is no different than my sin. You know what I mean? When I'm before God and I say that I committed adultery. I don't think he's going to be easier on me because I was straight in an adulter adulterous affair than, you know, my friends that are gay. 
You know what I mean? Like, I think it's going to be the same you committed a sin. It says, do not commit adultery. It says, you shouldn't lay with another man or a woman with another woman. Why are we hating everybody because they sin differently than we do? Why are we so fast and easy to point the finger at somebody when there's three more pointing right back at you? I'm not condoning what they're doing is right as much as they're not condoning what I've done is right. Um, nobody's going to convince me now that I've grown up and, and come to my own conclusions and my own beliefs in what the Bible says, that my friends are going to hell for being gay. I just don't believe that. Um, I don't believe God is going to strike them down if they're believers. It says in the Bible, for one, don't judge lest ye shall be judged. So who are we to sit there and judge people? And that is judging somebody. If you're sitting there looking at somebody going, well, you're gay, you're going to hell. It's the same difference as looking at me telling me I'm going to hell. No, I'm not. I'm saved. I was washed in the blood, baby. I am not going to hell. Do I still have to answer for my sin? You bet your bottom dollar I do. Just like you do. So I just wanted to say, I'll, I'll get off my soapbox. I just wanted to say to Ingrid, uh, I love you, girl. I'm so proud of you. Keep being true to who you are. And those that want to look down on you, and if you lose subscri subscribers over this and lose friends over it, they were never meant to be in your life anyway. Keep doing you, girlfriend. You got it. All right. So what's on my face? Um, I have on my cheeks Jordana's Blush and Rose Silk. It is this pretty, just kind of neutral, I don't know if you guys can see it from back there, just a neutral pinky, blushy pink. <laughs> it's just really pretty. It's always one of my favorites, and it's decent quality, and it's $2.99, so. Okay, on the eyes, I have, in my crease, I have the Nika K Eye Light Crayon in Champagne, and this is, I love these, these things are so awesome. It's like a taupey brown. It says it's bronzy, but like there it's taupe, there it's brown. Like it's one of those cool things. And these are like $1.99, but they've spread out. Like just, I love them. Um, I have on my eyelids, I have the Wet n Wild Idle Eyes in Pixie. This is one of my favorites too. It is just such a pretty champagne-y, beautiful color. And it also does the same thing. And then I actually have black eyeliner on. Believe it or not, this is Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow and Eyeliner in Blackest Black. And wouldn't you believe it? It's black. On the lips, I have the Elf Matte Lip Color in Natural. I used to hate this, but I'm looking at myself now and I actually really like it. It's pretty. Um, There. A decent swatch of it. It's just really pretty. It does go on really nice. Um, doesn't really have any smell to it. Then for the gloss, because of it being matte, obviously, I just have my cheap generic lip gloss. I don't even know what color it is. I don't even think it's going to show up on camera, but yeah, well, yeah, kind of. It's just real pretty. Except it smells like vanilla bubble gum, which is weird. So those are the swatches. All right, guys. Um. Thanks so much for watching. I didn't mean to get on a soapbox there. I just feel very passionately about um, certain things and people being real with who they are, I think is a passionate, a passion of mine because it's taken me so long to figure out who I am. Um, I, I've always wanted to please my grandmother and my, my dad and my stepdad and my brother. And, you know, I always wanted to like the, the pastors that I was, you know, under sitting under or whatever I always wanted to to you know be the perfect Christian so I, I hung on every word and if they said you know don't love gay people then I wouldn't love gay people it was ridiculous um and, and coming through all of that I've realized that th this is my life and I am the only one who has to live it and I am the only one who has to answer for it and if you don't like the fact that I like gay people or love gay people that is on you that is not on me and I'm not going to accept it and, you know, it doesn't mean that I think that they're, I, I just think that they deserve the same 
respect we do because they're no different than us. The only difference is they lay in bed with the same sex. That's it. That is it. And I think it's ridiculous that we look down our noses at people like that. And, and even racism and just, blah, it just drives me insane. We're supposed to love as Christ loved. And that means everybody. And, you know, I've been said before, people have said to me, why do you hate so-and-so? I have never hated anybody. Not even the person that beat the living daylights out of me when I was married to him. I don't hate him. I've forgiven him. We're actually friends. And I wish him the best of luck. And I hope to God he never does it again. Because I don't know if he come out of it alive next time. You know what I mean? And I don't mean by me. I mean, he's going to get a hold of the wrong girl one day and it's not going to be good. But, you know, I, I don't hate him. I don't hate my sisters that I don't get along with. I don't hate them. It's okay for us to have separate lives and, and I still love them. That's the bottom line. But the most important thing is, is when I look in that mirror every day, do I love who's looking back at me? And I do now. I can say that now. I can say I love me for who I am. And Ingrid did that today and it just, ugh. And that's what I want. I want so much. That's why I make these videos and why I share things that are working for me and not working for me. And, and I ask for advice all the time. Like, you know, what what do you want me to do? What, what should I do? Um, like, instance, this is going to be a long video and I apologize now. Um, like on Tuesdays and Thursdays when we don't walk, should I do like sit-ups and all that stuff in the morning and then do like the gazelle and, you know, stuff like that in the afternoon? Or should I do a little bit, like 10 of each reps in the morning and the gazelle and then the gazelle and 10 more. You know what I mean? Like, what should I do? Leave it in the bottle bar because I'm new to this and I need help. But, um, you know, I, I've had several, Sina and Tina and, and oh, I can't remember your name, dear. Um, but I've had several, several people reach out to me and just lift me up and just tell me how proud they are that I'm doing this and, and, and they've helped me. They've given me ideas and I just want to love everybody and let you know that if you're on the same road as I am, because I can't speak for anything else. I can only speak for what I've been through in my life. And a lot of times the people that are heavy have witnessed or gone through some really crappy things in their life. And I have, and, and I've come through it. And that's the important thing is I've come through it and I love myself enough now that it's time to take this, this mask off and it's time to take this shell off and be the body and the person that God intended me to be. And that's what it's all about. So anyway, sorry this was a preachy on my soapbox. I couldn't think of the word. Um, thing. I didn't mean for it. It's just how I feel. Sorry. Um, I will be back tomorrow with day 50 of my weight loss. And um, if we go for a walk, I'll take you with us. I, I will not show my kids, as you know, but um, I might show you the back. <laughs> Look, that's so much old head. But um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow night and I will be back Thursday night. Friday, I will not be here. Um, I will be at Relay for Life. And when I get home, I will have a million or two pictures to edit. So I will not be on at all that I know of, unless I upload from, from the track or something. Um, so I will be back on Saturday, but thanks guys so much for watching. Thank you for the new subscribers. Um, if you like my video, please like it. If not, you can go ahead and, and give me a thumbs down and then just kindly with respect. Um, let me know why you didn't like this video. Was it too preachy? Was it too long? You want to see more of this and less of that, whatever. Um, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday night. Thanks for watching.